Welcome to module six of using educational technology in the English language classroom. In this module, you will discover how technology is used to help English language learners improve their listening skills. Carol will begin the lecture by highlighting the connection between technology and listening in today's world. She will then invite listening expert Professor Jamie Wilkin to provide advice, Leila Karatai to discuss technology tools, and Jean Beck to offer tips specifically for teaching young learners. Don't forget to visit the listening resource corner for readings, additional technology tools, open educational resources for teaching listening, and demonstrations of how teachers use these tools. These materials will help you prepare to create a listening activity for your learners. In this module, we'll look at how technology is used for teaching listening. I'll begin by talking about the connection between technology and listening. Then we'll meet our listening expert, Professor Jamie Wilkin. We'll ask her why listening is so important for students. We'll also ask what teachers should know about listening, and we'll get her advice for teachers. Finally, we'll take a look at how technology can help in teaching listening to English language learners. Technology today provides access to many different ways for students to listen. What a great resource for students all around the world in places where English is not the main language. These students have access to English they can listen to through the internet. They can listen in on what's happening in the English-speaking world. They can also listen to what's happening in places where English is used as a lingua franca. Students who can understand English can use the internet to expand their knowledge and make new discoveries. Teachers can help students get started by selecting resources from the internet to help teach listening. We'll take a look at some of these resources in this module. Let's start with two examples of listening activities on the websites of the US government. One is on the Voice of America website, and the second is on the American English website. The Voice of America website in the English Learning section contains news stories in video format with audio and subtitles. The videos allow the students to listen to current stories that bring them news from around the world. One example is about an unmanned spaceship from the US Space Agency that was on a test flight. It provides great listening material for students because there are a lot of visual cues that the students can use to see what's going on. They can get meaning from both watching and listening. In the picture shown, you can see the spacecraft and the moon in the background. The videos also include the subtitles that provide text that goes along with the audio. The audio is spoken in very slow and clear English. So these resources are really ideal for bringing current and interesting materials into the classroom with English that is accessible for learners. Plus, after you introduce this website to students, they will know where they can find a constant source of current information in English. In the next video, we'll take a look at the second example, the American English website.